Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Uh, today is vlogist day 22. Yay. Um, <clears throat> and this is going to be a fun one. So first of all, I have picked the winner from last week's giveaway uh, last Monday that you had to put the word magazine and that's at the end. So you have to watch to the end to see if you won. Um, I'm, and that part was done downstairs where my laptop is and where all that stuff is. So um, I know who the winner is, but I'm not telling until the end. <laughs> uh, still drinking out of my Ivory Elephant Save the Elephants mug. My morning coffee. Um, I drink one cup a day and usually it's not that big, but today we're celebrating. Uh, what are we celebrating? We're celebrating 3,500 finally subscribers. Yay. I'm so excited. I didn't think I was ever going to get there. I mean, let me start this over. I'm thrilled to death and never thought that I was going to get there. It's not that I didn't think I was ever going to get, I thought, why would I ever get there? <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's a lot of subscribers. I'm like humbled and overwhelmed and so surprised and shocked. Uh, I, I just can't believe that that many people would tune in to watch me chat about yarn, <laughs> but I'm so glad that you do. So thanks for coming back again and again. And I really, 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 really appreciate it. And so we're going to do another giveaway, but first you have to see, so I can pack this up. Uh, I did finish my final, this will be wings for this year for their hat and scarf drive for September. Uh, and I'm going to, and this is also part of the crochet along with Judy from uh, Witch Piece Crafts. She does the hashtag rock 2022 AU uh, twice a month crochet along with album covers and the end of August album, the 15th of August, she does the first and the 15th. She gets an album cover was Olivia Newton-John, so I chose pink. It's kind of a corally pink, but we're going to stretch it and go with it's pink um, for breast cancer in remembrance of her battle and my cousin who died also this month with breast cancer. So um, this is the hat and scarf I knitted up. This is Dreamweaver yarn that is like a, um, I think it's a uh, mill ends that was, repackaged um, from Red Heart uh, but I knitted this one on the machine and look it did I knitted it very well it came out really really good with this yarn it is like a four weight acrylic it was uh, 315 yards in a skein and I used four skeins I think three or four skeins um, and it's long it's a nice long one um, I don't know if I can back up far enough that you can see but uh, see it goes down pretty long I did not put fringe I had thought about it but I didn't I did crochet a little border to match the border on the hat uh, so that you could see more that they were together and I'll show you what the hat looks like on because it's a little bit slouchy um, but I like slouchy hats I hope other people do too I'm still you know, new at the knitting machine, and um, when you double the beanie, and you know, you so it's two layers. Um, so this kind of looks like that. There you go. Uh, when you double the beanie, you do like a hundred rows on the on the knitting machine. Mine is a central. Um, and so I was like aiming for 50 because this is thicker yarn. I double it when I was doing the thinner yarn, but the thicker yarn, I thought it was going to be too, too hot, too warm, too bulky. Mainly I was concerned about it being too bulky to cinch it up at the end and it'd be this big, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, so I didn't want that. And so I did like 50 rows and it's slouchy. <laughs> so... Maybe I needed to do 40 rows. We'll try that next time. Um, and then I made the pom-pom with my Clover pom-pom makers. And I made a big pom-pom. Normally I'm making like the smaller of the... I have three pom-pom makers. Two came in one package and one comes in another package. And I usually make the smaller of the double package one. So I think this is a four-inch pom-pom. And I usually I'm doing like a three-inch. But I love it. 
uh, and I love this. It's just going to be really nice. Um, nice and warm, thick and long, and it's very soft. And my Centro had no problem with this yarn. Um, you know, I've been having some, there was no fighting going on, Rose. Uh, I did not have to fight with my machine one time. So I was real happy about that. I'm really sad I can't get this yarn anymore because it's really, really, really a nice yarn. So I'm going to bag this up and then bag up. I have a whole bunch of these on the floor over here. They're all going to get bagged up and shipped off to Rose. <laughs> Excuse me. For, from Rose Likes Crochet, if you don't know her. Um, I, you haven't been on this planet. I mean, I don't know how you don't know Rose. I uh, would love her to death. She's a great deal of fun. I've met her in person and I would love to be driving to meet you in person again. <coughs> Excuse me, to deliver these. But it, it, that's not going to work out before September. Um, so I'm going to ship them off to you this week. Probably on the weekend. Um, <coughs> oh, pardon me. Goodness. Uh, so... Uh, she collects four wings, which is an organization that helps support domestic violent, domestic victims of domestic violence. Um, Rose's channel will be linked below. She collects something different every month. I've been making hats and scarves for her September drive for several months. I have several packages on the floor, which you've seen them all if you've watched any of my videos as they go along. Uh, and I've been use, using the colors inspired by the... Um, album covers from Judy. So I was doing a twofer, as my friend Jaxie would say, from Creations by Jax. Also, I'll link her channel. She's a lot of fun. Uh, and she makes beautiful, beautiful things. And she just is gorgeous. You just got to watch her as well. Um, and since I'm doing some shout outs uh, real quick, uh, I also want to mention, I forgot to mention, and by no slight, I just, I mentioned several and I, I forgot about Sam from Mamphia Makes. Oh my God. Her and her husband, Mike, she taught Mike how to crochet, and they are a hoot. And Mike is doing very, very well, actually. He just learned a few months ago, and he's making stuff like crazy. So, um, and they are a fun couple. And uh, Sam, is she crochets beautifully as well. And there was one other I wanted to, I wrote it down, left the notes downstairs. I'll remember you next time, who I'm forgetting this time. Again, there's so many people to watch. Um, so I did want to mention because she's trying to get to, uh, a thousand watch hours and a thousand or 4,000 watch hours and a thousand subscribers. So, uh, that's what I'm trying to shout out is the ones that are working on that goal. Uh, so anyway, now the big celebration part comes, I have this box. Uh, this box is from Michael's and I want to fill it with stuff for you, for one of you. Sorry, I can only do one of you. Um, but I have things to put in the box, and I hope that I'm filling it. If not, we'll have to add more. First of all, I have Sparkly Scrubby Yarn from Premier. Nope, Red Heart, speaking of. 147 yards, 159 meters. It's uh, 3 ounces, 85 grams. And this is, you know, for making dishcloths and whatever. I would suggest highly using it with a cotton. Um... But, you know, holidays are coming up, so sparkly yarn might be cool to make something for your kitchen. I guess I should have included some green. All of my, like, kitchen cotton is buried. <laughs> and so I didn't want to unbury it. So, to be honest, I was being lazy about that. Um, then we have some orange Premier Washi, uh, which is... 92 yards, 85 meters, and this is also, I was thinking, holidays are coming, uh, fall. You can make something with that. I have, uh, and I know I've mentioned in the past, those kind of yarns really bother me. <coughs> and I have boxes of them, so I'm going to start adding them to giveaways, one or two in giveaways. Uh, because I don't really work with it that much, and it's going to take me till I'm 93 to use it myself if I at the rate that I'm using it. Um, which is very rarely. One year I made um, a bunch of stuff with um, this kind of yarn in it uh, and, you know, held it together. And that wasn't too bad, but I kind of got out of the, 
I didn't find those fun anymore. <laughs> but yet I had all this yarn. So I literally have two boxes full of that kind of yarn. So you'll be seeing those in giveaways <laughs> quite a bit. Because what am I going to do with two boxes of that yarn? And when I went through the yarn room, remember I told you I was picking out yarns that I'm like, I'm never going to use this up. Not that actually I have a goal of ever using up my yarn. That's not a goal. It's just what it is. So next we have, I have this in several different colors. They are new cakes. Each one are donuts. I hate donuts. Um, just, they are all brand new, not used, but they are all the same. And I have them in five different colors. So it's one donut each. Um, that's ice yarn. So of course there's no color name. Um, but I'll tell you about the yarn if I can, if I can, it's called natural garden and I'm sorry, but they don't make it anymore. And I really am sorry because I really did like working with this yarn. Uh, it's 40% bamboo, 35% cotton, 25% linen. They are 50 gram balls, 150 meters. They are a two weight. This is the yarn that I used, uh, to make the shawl my doctor if you've been following my channel at all uh, this is the yarns that I used in these colors minus the white I only have one of the white and since I can't buy this anymore and I have a lot more of these you you know you buy them for my yarns and you buy in like packages of eight well I didn't I don't think I used one skein of any one color to make the shawl that I made for my doctor which was like 96 feet long but lacy, you know, uh, but oh gosh, the drape is beautiful. I use the same yarn for my kitchen curtains. Um, it drapes beautifully. It works up wonderfully. It's chain spun. I don't know if you can tell that. Uh, let's see. Maybe on that one there you can see. It's chain spun. It's, I, I love the yarn. I wish I could get it. I wish still, I wish I could get it in more colors because having the eight packs or 10 or whatever they came in, has been awesome because I've used it several times and I have enough I can make more out of it but I thought I would share this because um, you can't get it and you yet you can make wonderful wonderful projects with it particularly if you don't mind using thin weight yarn and if you do because there's some other thin weight yarns in here if you don't like thin weight yarn and you win you can always hold it together with another yarn and you know make it thicker like a solid color or or whatever um, but <clears throat> I love those yarns. They are some of my favorite. And like I said, I'm real sad that you can't get it. I'm sure they have something comparable, but I don't know what it is. Um, I try to stay away from the Ice Yarns website. It can be dangerous. <laughs> uh, I've been on a, I'm not buying yarn because I don't have room for it. And my husband yells at me. And he's never yelled at me about buying yarn. He doesn't care. He knows it makes me happy. But he's like, really, where are you going to put it? I'm like, it doesn't matter. I don't care where I put it. <laughs> Uh, but you know, so not complaining, just, you know, so anyway, I am also adding one of these. This is, uh, the rainbow Rhapsody from Hobby Lobby. Uh, gosh, there we go. Uh, and I love this. I have several of these and <coughs> they, <coughs> excuse me, they are a one weight 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, 918 yards, which is 839 meters, 7 ounces, 198 grams. I'm pretty sure you can make a shawl or a wrap out of one. And isn't it beautiful? And yesterday in Zoom, several of the ladies were going on about how much they love Rainbow Rhapsody. And um, I'm like, okay, I've got to throw one of those in there. I love the colorway. It's so gorgeous. So I'm throwing one of those in there just because the you can you can thank the ladies in Zoom because they said how much they loved it. And I agree. So I love those kind of yarns. So in the bag it goes or box. Then I have three of these lovelies. Now this is a two-way yarn. Oh, excuse me. And it's an it's called Hershner's Afghan yarn. And I was gonna make a baby blanket out of the cream color that I have of this. It is so friggin soft um it is 100 percent acrylic you get two ounces 56 grams per ball 220 yards 201 meters it is the one of the softest yards i think i've ever felt in my life so <clears throat> i have three of those 
and you can make something out of that i'm sure a hat fingerless gloves something that you want to put up against your cowl put up against your face because it's so soft i have three of these on from uh, red heart unforgettable waves i'm not taking the stuff out of the bags because you guys will want it in the bag uh this color is called parade this is a four-way yarn uh let's see what are the stats come on let me find a spot that tells me there we go 300 uh, 3.5 ounces 100 grams 119 yards 109 meters in those awesome colors it's like a parade you just gotta love it so we've got three of those I think um, when I back, box this box up, I'm going to put these natural gardens in another bag with something else so they're not all over the place. Um, then we have, it looks like, four skeins of, this is also a yarn bee. Uh, I love yarn bee yarn. Uh, this one is called yarn bee earthware. Er, earthenware. Uh, oh, wait. It's Juliet yarn called earthenware. It is a thicker yarn. Uh, it is a six bulky. You get, uh, you can still see it. So the color is called earthenware. Uh, it is three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 87 yards, 80 meters, 80% uh, acrylic, 20% nylon, and it is a six weight bulky. Now I have made a hat for my husband out of this yarn, this, you know, style, this earthen, I mean, this Juliet yarn. It's one of his favorite hats. It's extremely warm. It's very soft, and he loves it. So don't tell him that I'm giving some of this away because he'll be like, wait, that's supposed to be hats for me. Uh, so what else do I have in this box? I have a box, again, of Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Decay Low Pill Fiber. Um, this is 4 ounces, 114 grams, 487 yards, 437 meters. And this is a three weight. I'm trying to get you all the information that I can find. Uh, low pill. Mm, I'm just not seeing what the color is called. It's this color. <laughs> I'm not seeing. I think I have to rip the thing apart to find out what the color way is. Because it's hidden inside. Um, so we'll call it this color. It's like a goldeny brownish colors in there. Um. This is also very soft. Very, very soft. Love this yarn. Then we have in this box, I put these little guys in here um, because fall is coming and these are fall colors. And this is, again, yarn. If you guys, when, whoever wins this, tell me what you're going to do with these because I have several. Um, I don't know what to do with them. And so I'm giving some to you so you can come up with what to do with them. They are these little uh, mandala craft cakes. Uh, I think they could be cute little fall decorations. You know, uh, pumpkins and leaves and things like that. That's why I thought I'd throw them in. They are three weight. You get uh, 1.2 ounces. They're 88 yards. So it's it's a like no big deal, but kind of cute. And they would make, you know, a, maybe a fall. You could put decorations on a wreath with them. Um, make some little fall gnomes and add this to it. So cute. Um, I think they're really, really cute. I just thought they were bigger <laughs> when I ordered them. And then I'm like, I don't know what to do with them. So I'm going to, I like I said, when you figure out what to do with them, let me know. I also am throwing in this box one of these. This is a Needle and Notions Organizer pouch that I got from Premier. Um, so this is going in the box. Somehow. I have in here a Notions pouch that says sew and knit and create and weave and all that kind of stuff. And it's got stuff inside. So first of all, we have a little, isn't that cute? I didn't put that on there, but it is there. It's a little star. Real cute. Uh, but it's a stitch marker. Or maybe I did put it on there. I don't know. But... I have one of these in here for like a hat or on a purse, something boho. I have some little handmade buttons. I have in here a packet of, you know, saying handmade, wash with care, those kind of little label things. Um, we have 
a shawl pin. Oh, oh my God, it's got fuzzies on it. Get off of me. Get off of there. Get off of there. A shawl pin. Um, and a yarn pin. And last but not least, a llama photo holder. Is all in the little pouch. Uh, I was, you know, if you have, <clears throat> you could probably even, if you had a small pattern, you know, like one of those little ones that you get pull tag patterns or whatever, you might be able to stick that in there while you're crocheting uh, or knitting or whatever so that you can see. Let me stick those all back in there so I don't lose them. So that's going in the bag, in the box. Uh, then we have. A skein of yarn bee sugar wheel cotton solids in the green that matches my kitchen uh, it makes nice washcloths it's 100 percent cotton it's very soft five ounces 142 grams 335 yards 306 meters i'm using this color to make tunisian afghan uh, tunisian um i'm learning tunisian with jada from jada and stitches let's let's go there then I have this Sugar Wheel Berry Blueberry Pie. If you do hats, um, hats not hate, this is probably a good colorway for that with all the blues in there, some bluish greens. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a four weight, 100% acrylic, seven ounce, 199 grams, 335 yards or 325 meters of that luscious softness. And we have in here a Dark Kiss Ultra Shea hand lotion because we need to take care of our hands as crocheters and knitters. Yarn can be very drying of your skin. And then I have two of these. Oops, they are the same. This one, I lost the label. I think it's in my, the label is probably, I mean, I got the hangy tag, but the label is probably <laughs> in my stash of hand-dyed yarns. <laughs> so you can look at the colors. The colors are beautiful. Crystal from Bag Day would probably love this because of all the neutral browns. This is from Stitch Studio by Nicole. It's a lightweight 345 percent acrylic 45 percent polyester 10 percent wool um and oh my arms getting tired it is 492 yards 449 meters and there's two of those um so i'm sure you could make something very nice out of that and the box is not full I thought the box would be full with that, but it is not. Let's see what else we can add. Hold on. All righty. I did some yarn shopping. And let's see. I pulled out three of these. Uh, this is... Sure it is. Uh, this is Sweet Roll from Premier. And this is 100% acrylic. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, it's a four weight. Uh, let's see, we got 245 yards, uh, 224 meters, five ounces, 140 grams, and we have three of them. Oh, I, and the color is called, I don't mind, I don't know why this one's coming out. It fell out of the bag, and that's what happened. Um, the color is called something. Premier Yarns color is Guava Pop. And if I didn't say, this is a four-weight yarn. So we have three of those. I know when I bought it, I opened the yarn. I opened the package so I could feel the yarn. I'm not a yarn smeller since I don't have a sense of smell, but I do like to feel. And then I grabbed one of these. I had only one in this color. Um, so you're going to get it. And this is the uh, Karen Skinny Cakes. And it says that this ball will make, one mega ball will make that scarf or shawl. And it is, uh, the color is called Tiramisu. And it's 100% acrylic, 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 795 yards, 727 meters. It is a three weight. 
So if we put all of that in this box, it is a very heavy box and it is pretty full. So this is what you get if you win my 3,500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, and you live in the United States. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you are outside of the United States, then you will win a gift card um, for place of your choice that I can order a U.S. dollar gift card um, or convert it to whatever dollars you have from U.S. dollars. Uh, a lot of people do prefer to take the Amazon. Uh, you can go... I have done like a gift certificates at a local yarn shop where I could send them money. Um, but that's what we're going to do. If you are out of the U S you will get a $50 gift card. If you are in the U S you can also do a $50 gift card or you can do this box of yarn and goodies. So whichever you prefer. And most of my subscribers are U S citizens. So, um, but I do have Canadians and I have Australians and UK and, you know, I, I have them all over. Um, so I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy, uh, winning. I hope somebody, well, somebody will win. <laughs> uh, so anyway, what do you need to do? You need to be subscribed. You need to follow all the rules that on YouTube and governments and anybody that could set rules, any legal mumbo jumbo. When you make a comment, <clears throat> excuse me, in this video, you are agreeing to any rules that anybody can impose in any place that has any jurisdiction over any giveaway stuff. So all that legal mumbo jumbo crap, you're agreeing to anything that you need to agree to. Um, and let's see, there should probably be a word. Um, let's just put 3.5K. Just put that in there 3.5 with a k so that would be the 3500 giveaway uh if you don't want to enter don't put 3.5 k very simple um that's all i got for you today is vlogist day 22. i hope you enjoyed this uh, i hope you come back again good luck on winning uh, i i think it's a good prize i i I hope it's a good prize. So, uh, watch till the end for the winner from last week's just weekly giveaway. Um, I, you know, do that sometimes when I'm doing um, everyday videos. I like to do week or, you know, whatever. I've done this in the past where I've done weekly videos. Where I've done a giveaway every, you know, small giveaway every week. This is <clears throat> going to be a big giveaway this time. This one's a big one for me. So, um, that's all I got for you today, guys. Good luck. See you tomorrow for vlogist, vlogist day 23. Bye. Hi there. Lynette here with Charm Grammy Crochet. Uh, today is August 22nd and this is going to be added to the end of my vlogmas. Nope. Vlogist. <laughs> Dang it. Vlogist uh, August 22nd, August 22. Um, and this is the winner picked part of the video, but I will... I'm filming it first downstairs in the dining room because everything else is going to be upstairs, but I didn't want to have to carry everything upstairs and then bring it downstairs and then bring it back up. You know, you know, I'm lazy. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I am drinking out of my Ivory Ella uh, for Save the Elephants. Just my morning coffee. And what is the winner going to win? First of all, this was uh, in my vlogmas a week ago and you're going to get the uh, copy of crochet world magazine from august 2022 and two um two yarns uh there's six skeins of this very cool yarn and then there's this ribbon yarn and to win it you had to comment on that last video you had to put the word magazine in the comments and <clears throat> Um, let's see who the winner is. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I have put the stuff in under 10 because you have to do that. Get you to, oh shoot, 65 comments. 
uh, oh, right here we go. Let's start the random comment picker. Let's see who the winner is. Melissa Long. She says, I am dangerous around the magazine display. I love crochet magazines with patterns in them. Love the bear. So cute. I love ribbon yarn. All the yarn is pretty. Thank you, Lynette, for all you do and the chance to win this fantastic giveaway. Good luck, everyone. So, yay, Melissa. Send me an email. My email address is linked below. Uh, send me an email with your address, and I will uh, gladly send this stuff out to you. So, yay, 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 yay. Um, and you'll see this at the end of the video that I'm about to prepare. <laughs> Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow for Vlogist Day 23. Bye.